So now that you're working from home, just like I am, it's probably a good idea to get a solid webcam, which makes you look your best. I have a few pro tips for how to make your setup as good as it can be, and a couple of suggestions on which webcam might be right for you. First things first, it's important to make sure your camera angle and framing look good. Through your computer's camera app, you can preview what it will look like and make adjustments well ahead of meeting time. Generally speaking, placing the camera on top of your monitor will look best and sit two or three feet away. Lighting is also important, so make sure there's a nice soft source of light shining on you. If you have some blinds giving you tiger stripes or it looks like you're sitting in a dungeon where people can't see your face, it's time to readjust things possibly move where you're at in the room, or toy around with setting up lighting behind the camera to illuminate your face. Next, take a look at your background. No one's going to expect you to be on a professional set like me, clearly, but you probably also don't want to let anything unsightly appear in the shot. Please don't show off your bathroom or have dirty laundry hanging off of your bookshelf either. For example, this is a corner of my actual living room, but you don't want to see what the rest looks like. Obviously, set yours up however you can, but do pay attention to what others are going to see behind you. Now, when all else fails, go to the virtual background. Many video conference apps let you add a fake background of your choosing. Again, test this out offline to see if your camera can handle this. While people on the other end of the call won't be able to detect that you haven't taken a shower in a while, they will see if you haven't taken a razor to your face or getting laissez-faire with makeup. If that doesn't matter too much, then hey, you have some pretty cool coworkers. But when looks do matter, don't cheat on your personal hygiene routine. It'll show up on camera. As for which webcam is right for you, we have a few favorites to recommend. The Logitech C920S, the Razer Keo, and the Logitech Brio 4K. Our favorite overall webcam is Logitech's C920S. It supports full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution during Skype conferences and a 1280 by 720 resolution using Apple's FaceTime, Facebook Messenger, and more. If you're simply recording video, you can also take advantage of the higher full HD resolution. Other advantages are automatic low light correction, two integrated microphones with automatic noise cancellation, and a 78 degree field of view. There are also downloadable software options for motion detection, controls for pan, tilt, and zoom, and controls for capturing video and photos. For gamers and product streamers, we recommend the Razer Keo. It offers up to 1080p resolution and 30 frames per second and an autofocus component that comes in handy when moving closer to the cam or adjusting its position. The Keo is also compatible with OBS and other popular platforms for customizing your streaming setup just the way you like it. But the real draw here is the light ring circling the webcam to provide extra illumination. The 5600K light is easily adjustable via the bezel. Simply twist it like adjusting a camera lens to control the brightness levels. It's designed to work well in low light settings when necessary. If you're looking for a 4K solution, the Logitech Brio is the camera for you. It supports three resolutions for video calling and provides a default field of view of 90 degrees, but you can adjust the camera to 65 and 78 degrees using Logitech software. The camera provides a five times digital zoom when using the full HD resolution, nine megapixel still image resolution, an external privacy shutter, and built-in omnidirectional microphones with noise cancellation. You can mount the camera on a desktop monitor, laptop screen, or use the universal clip to mount the device on a tripod. We have a lot more guides, tips, and tricks for you at digitaltrends.com. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.